Hello YouTube! Right, okay, so we're going to be doing comic books today. Today is the second video of 16 vlogs in 16 days. Right, comic books. So, as you know, I've been really behind on everything. So I've been behind on my reading. And what hasn't helped is that I got some books, some graphic novels from the library. So, first of all, I'm going to go through what I'm hoping to do later on. Now, later on in the next 14 days, whatever we've got left, I want to do a Lights Out review. I've got that to read, so I'm going to read that in one go and then review it. I also want to do a catch up on Forever Evil, which will include The Trinity of Sin and how amazing I thought that ending was. It was brilliant. And probably a catch up on Kick Ass 3. So that's what I'm planning to do. What I'm going to talk about today in this book is a few graphic novels that I've read recently. The first one, Emperor Joker. Absolutely brilliant. If you haven't read it, give it a good read. Uh, the Joker gets given the power of Superman's nemesis from the fifth dimension, whatever it's called. It's the JXP thing. Can't pronounce it, not going to bother trying. Uh, yeah, so Joker gets the power, the ultimate power of the universe, and because he's a bit mad, he ends up destroying the universe pretty much, and the only person who can stop him is Superman. And it's really cool and it's really interesting. And yeah, it puts Joker on another level and puts him against suits. So that's really cool. If you get a chance to read that, read that one. Haven't got any more because I took that back to the library. The next one is Nightfall. Look at that. That's 700 plus pages. And it's all Azil or Azarel, whatever you want to call him. It's just. Oh no, I've got to finish it yet. I've got like a couple of hundred pages left. I'm there. That's how much I've got left, and it's so dry and boring. It's the second part to Night Quest. So you've got the death of Batman, breaking of the Bat thing with Bane. Then you've got Nightfall, and then Night's End. I'm looking forward to reading Night's End, because that's when Bruce comes back. Not to spoil it, if you haven't read it before, but Bruce is around now, so it kind of helps. But yeah, um, it's taken me a while to get through. It's very dry, it's a bit dull. I need to finish it so I can get on it. And then last but not least is The Return of Superman. So this is after Doomsday kills Superman. Um, it's really nice. You've got Cyborg Superman, you've got Superboy, you've got Steel and all the other the other Superman thing. I'm only, well, not even halfway through it yet. Really good. And there's an appearance by Guy Gardner. So that got my vote. It's Guy and he's the, got the yellow lantern ring. Uh, da -da -da -da. There we go. That's Guy. I like Guy. He's an arse. That's all right. And that, oh, okay. And a final review, review of Arthur Schilling. So we've, I've shown you this. This is the comic that we made. It's an 11 piece comic. It's read in two ways. So either you can read as a normal comic, left to right, and then down to the next panels as you normally would, or you read all the left hand panels going down, then you start again when you finish the story, and then read all the right hand panels. And there's a difference between then and now. So you've got one story that, when it finishes at the end, on the left hand side, it starts on the first panel on the right hand side on page one. Now this is illustrated by Robert Cross, and to be honest, I think that guy is gonna be massive in a couple of years time, really, really big. So look out for the name, and we're gonna be holding on to him as much as we can with uh, Cove Comics. Uh, yeah, so please go and buy one. It's gonna, it's a pound to download, and if you want the physical copy, we've got the second print runs, which are two pounds. You can get them on comicsy.com. I'll put a link below. I know I always say stuff below, but I'm gonna try and actually do that now. Uh, and you can go and you can buy the comic. I mean, look how beautiful that is. Look at that. I've got that on my wall. I'll show you that when we get it framed properly. But yeah, I've got that as a full page art. Hang on. Oh my god, it, oh, I don't know if it's here. No, I'll show you another day. Oh, I won't bother wasting more time. But then also, not only do you get an 11 page comic for two pounds, you also get a short story. Now that is a uh, text story with illustrations. So let's find an illustration for you. There's one there, and then there's some there. It's lovely, lovely illustrations, and they kind of complement the, the work. And that's my comic book, written by me, published by me. And Cove Entertainment. And lettered by um, 
Yeah, Emily King. Yeah, sorry, Emily. I, you, you probably haven't even watched this. Have you got this far, really, Emily? If you have, leave a comment, and then I know to be embarrassed because I nearly forgot your name. But lettered by Emily King from Hex Dimension, and it's done really, really well. So, I mean, it's all pieced together so beautifully. That's cool. And that's given me an idea, though. I think I might review some indie comics, so I might go through and review all the Cape Fear comics that have come out so far. How do you think about that? Leave a comment, See, tell me what you think, and I'll, I'll try and review them properly. Uh, anything else that you think I should do? So I need help filling the rest of these 14 days, what I should vlog about and talk about. Go try, Keith, by the five minutes, but I think I've just gone past. So I will sign off now, and I will see you tomorrow. Oh, say bye, Dorothy. Say bye. Say bye. That's a little bit.